welcome to The One Show with Matt Baker. And Alex Jones. Now, tonight's guest shot to film when he humiliated Mackenzie Crook in the office. Went on to ridicule George Michael in extras. And thought nothing of insulting half of Hollywood at the Golden Globe. But for some reason, the stars keep coming back for more. Do you have any idea who my leading lady is on this film? Le in, in the Tim Burton film? Um, yeah. yeah. Helen Bonham Carter? How do you know? Stab in the dark. She thinks you're an idiot. Sorry, have I done something to offend you? What do you mean, like, trashing me in front of, like, 200 million people at the Golden Globes? <laughs> it's Ricky Gervais! <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. It's, it's that classic line in there, have I done something to offend you, which basically, I mean, do you ever worry that you, you are offending those that you really like? Um... No, um, because I know I am. I, I, yeah. It's guaranteed I'm going to offend someone. But yeah. just because, you know, you're offended doesn't mean you're right, does it? I mean, I think that goes to show that he wasn't offended. This is yeah. a funny thing. Well, he people turned up saying, to do the shoot, didn't people he? People are saying, that's part of the reason I got him in it. To, because yeah. everyone's going, oh, uh, Johnny Tech was so offended. No, he wasn't. I, I called him up and he went, oh, it was funny. It was great. You know, I, I get this once a week. Someone, someone saying that I've offended someone else usually. It's always someone uh, offended on someone else's behalf, you know? And it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Of course he's not offended. He's no. the richest, most handsome man in the world. Why, why is he going to care about why a fat bloke red in, not liking the tourist? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll be talking more about the new show and the big stars that are in it a little bit later on. Yeah. But first, Simon Bozeman is in a sleepy... Mm. Aren't you going past Alston? A very uh, remote uh, area on, on the rickshaw? On my rickshaw, I am, yes. Mm, good luck with So high, so remote, they expect snow, snow plows. I don't know if I'll have a snow plow on the You'll be all right. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be high. Anyway, thanks, Simon, for that. Uh, Ricky, <laughs> are you into community spirit? Are you big on that? As long as they leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they can't get past the gates and the lasers and the dogs. I've got shutters on the windows. I often hide, pretending I'm out if someone comes to the door. Um, but, yeah, I, I say, yeah, get on with it. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant. Good image. luck, everyone. Good luck, everyone. There's an image of you in waders cleaning out the local pond in the park, but maybe not. That won't happen. That won't no. never happen. Oh, you know, I'd, I'd do anything to do with nature, yeah. I'd get involved. I'd, I love stuff to do with uh, wildlife and nature. Okay. Um, it's uh, um, just talking to anyone else that I don't like. <laughs> Enough. Love animals. <laughs> it's the people that annoy people. me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, earlier on, we saw a clip of Johnny Depp in your new series, Life's Too Short. Tell us a bit about that. Um, it's a fake documentary, about a return to the fake documentary format, uh, rather like The Office, but it's moved on because documentaries have moved on. If I suppose The Office was reflected those quaint docu-soaps yeah. of the 90s with normal people being famous, like David Brent. Um, but modern documentaries, reality shows, they're much more about... C and D list celebrities living their life like an open wound, and it's right. it's more like that. Do, do you know what I mean? It's like yeah. the the fictional Warwick Davis. You know, it's a complete character. It's nothing like real Warwick Davis. In real life, Warwick is a great actor. He's brilliant. He's lovely. He's so rounded. Mm -hmm. I've never heard him complain about it. He's just great. Um, in this, he's manipulative. He's got a chip on his shoulder. Um, it's not half an hour of um, height gags. It's nothing to do with that. It's more that he's got small man complex so it's right. about him being angry with the world yeah. and um uh, you know he exploits other dwarves he runs an agency in this <laughs> um he takes all the acting jobs for himself yeah. but he rents those out as bowling balls and things so uh, it's it's about that really well we've got we've got a moment from the first episode where he comes to see you and and steve merchant as well uh, but and it's lovely he, he, well he has to charm a member of the public because he can't quite reach the intercom <laughs> i've never seen you bruv what films have you been in? Uh, have you seen Return of the Jedi? Who was you in that? Was an Ewok. Those little bears? Not little bears. Bruv, they're little bears. Right. Have you seen Willow? No. Look, just press the buzzer, please. Look at that. Comedy legends there. Ricky Gervais, Stephen Merchant. Mm -hmm. They're all mates, aren't I? Always, well, always yeah. popping around for a chat. You are always <laughs> popping around, yeah. I, I thought we made yeah. the buzzer high enough, but... No, really? now I've got a pass of eye to press it. Pass of eye. Yeah. 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 We didn't think of everything. Mm. <laughs> 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 would 
Nancy it is a bit NPC. I mean, especially a hilarious bit when but, but, Warwick falls out the car. But how do you keep it on the right I side? I don't know what this is of this. Um, uh, uh, it's NPC. Well, they're already saying that, and I haven't seen it. Mm. Um, they, stra they, st they straight away assume um, it, it's going to be offensive because there's a, a dwarf involved. Well, that's their problem. That's their mm. prejudice. They're assuming it's going to be cruel. I mean. Uh, and nothing can be further from the truth, as, as I say, but um, mm. um, it, I, I don't know, there's n no harm can come of discussing taboo subjects. Th that's why they're a problem with them, because they're taboo. If yeah. you talk about stuff intelligently, um, then I think the problem is, some people always confuse the target of a joke with the subject of a joke. Mm. You can talk about anything. You can talk about race, disability, uh, as long as you know what you're doing with it. Yeah. And, uh, and, and um, yeah. people are always going to be offended. Yeah. They're Speaking always going which, to be offended. And there's nothing you can do about that. No. Yeah, yeah. You know, no. Uh, and, and on that point as well, I mean, you recently offended quite a few people with disabilities. Uh, recently, on uh, always. I offend, I offend someone once a week. But, uh, 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 but uh, you've got to just carry on with what you're doing. I look at it yeah. in a quite Darwinian framework. You do what you do and you either survive or you don't. I, I think if you, keep, if you keep trying to please everyone, you won't do anything. Nothing yeah. will be said because some people are offended by equality. Some people are offended by abortion. I'm not. I'm offended by those people. But what are you going to do? Mm. What are you going to do? So, um, th at least watch it first, yeah. Yeah. you know what I mean? Fair enough. And, then, and, and if you don't like it, don't watch it again. Don't write me a letter. No one's listening. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I mean, but you're not afraid of laughing at yourself either, because no, recently... No, very, but very often I am the butt of the joke. Yeah. It's my stupidity, it's me getting stuff wrong. You exactly. Know? I mean, the, curb your enthusiasm is, is a good example of of that. course that's it, it, it's your only deal in excruciating social faux bar and that and and yeah. and sort of taboo subject and that's what's funny because it's it's usually about our middle class angst mm. it's usually about our fear warwick when he talks to people he knows they're trying to avoid using the word little or small in just normal conversation mm. and he finds mm. it hilarious he wants to go to him chill out yeah. It's all right, you know. Yeah. 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 Well, let, let's just have a little look at you in action in, in that clip. Uh, if, uh, if you, this is you with Larry David. Go. Ah, thanks so much <laughs> for coming. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't believe this. Signed. Signed. The funniest show in the history of television. Oh, was I funny. love this show. I wouldn't call it the funniest show I in the history would, of television. I would laugh. This show was hilarious. No doubt about it. Funny I mean, show. hilarious. History of television? Seinfeld, lovely show. Well, thank you. It was good. It was I love, good. Yeah. Oh, no, I, I yeah. love broad comedy. Yeah. I will treasure this, Ricky. I like the laugh track on it. So it's happy he's here. Mind you, went to laugh. So excited. Oh, yeah. We didn't. We didn't do one. But yeah, it's just very funny successful. show. Thank it's you. just odd to just show up with your own DVD. Yeah. I've never heard of somebody. Uh, Who's, who's in something, and then showing up with it. You've never heard of that? No. It's an odd thing. <laughs> a war with words. Didn't take you long to try and turn the tables on there. But, um, yeah. All improv. Yeah. All ad lib. All ad lib. Really? Yeah. yeah. You, just, you just go with it and you film it a few times. And, and it's, it was great doing that. Not only is a bit of a hero of mine, I think probably the most important person working in comedy today, um, but he ruins as many takes as I do. Yeah. We were just both laughing. One was like, we'd okay, stop. Honestly, it was just, it was great. One of the highlights of my career. Such a, yeah. such a pleasure. And when you go out with dinner, uh, to dinner with Larry David, it's like a two-hour episode of Curb for free. <laughs> it's, ju it's just, he's great. I, I can't get enough of him. Yeah, well, many people may not have heard of Slough until uh, Ricky here put it on the map uh, with The Office. But 60 years ago this week, Berkshire earned its stripes when it became home to the very first zebra crossing.